very diverse places, in very different parts of the world, with one thing in common. The people here are all benefiting from nuclear techniques and the support of the IAEA to produce and protect food and make it safer. Through its joint division with the UN's Food and Agriculture Organization, the IAEA supports over 200 food projects in 100 countries. Its laboratories south of Vienna are the scientific hub of agency activity in the food field. Here, teams of scientists conduct research using nuclear and isotopic techniques. They're developing and refining technologies which can be used to produce better food, track contamination in agriculture, improve soil fertility, and make more efficient use of water resources. Veterinary experts are working on highly accurate tools to diagnose and control animal diseases. Entomologists are developing pest control strategies that reduce the use of agrochemicals and are cost-effective. Under the fellowship program, scientists from member states get hands-on training at a network of institutions worldwide, including the IAEA labs. From the IAEA's headquarters in Vienna, the Technical Cooperation Department ensures that the technical assistance to the food-related projects in the field runs smoothly. And the IAEA sends its experts to visit the participating countries, giving technical advice and support where needed. The IAEA is cooperating with more than 500 institutes worldwide in food-related projects, providing training, equipment, scientific know-how and funds. In Cameroon, West Africa, local vets are able to diagnose and control animal diseases thanks to highly specific nuclear techniques. They're using a portable device that can give early and quick results in the field and in remote areas. With this information, vets can take prompt action to prevent a disease from spreading within a herd or crossing into neighboring countries. East of the continent, in Kenya, Maasai farmers are able to grow abundant and healthy crops with small amounts of water. They're using an efficient system that's developed and supported by nuclear science. Tests with isotopes conducted in Nairobi also provide guidelines on the best use of fertilizer, soil management and farming in drought-prone areas. In Indonesia, the National Nuclear Agency is using irradiation technology to produce safe food for people with special dietary needs who are more at risk from foodborne infections. This technique clears the food of any harmful microorganisms that could be dangerous for people with weak immune systems, like those receiving treatment for cancer or people suffering from HIV or AIDS caused by drug use. In South America, in the high Andes of Peru, a variety of barley, originally developed from irradiated seeds, is proving to be a huge success. With this technique, breeders use radiation to induce variations in plants. They're trying to develop improved varieties of plants that have better yields, are more nutritious or tolerant to drought, flood or disease. And in Europe, farmers in Croatia are able to grow mandarins that are free of fruit flies by using the sterile insect technique. This method works by sterilizing large numbers of male flies with radiation. These are then released in target areas where they mate with the wild females. But no offspring is produced and eventually a population of pests is suppressed or even eradicated. 
world populations are growing steadily, but at the same time, conditions for food production and agricultural development are getting worse. Arable land is diminishing. Animal and plant diseases are on the increase and weather patterns are becoming more erratic. With the increasing demand for food, the role of nuclear techniques is more important than ever before. The IAEA's global network of scientists, experts and research centers is working hard to ensure that food now and in the future is sufficient and safe.